Man's arm suddenly burned by the 8,000 degree sun. What happened? A strong beam of sunlight was seen, whooshed through the ozone layer, straight into the earth. The water that was hit instantly reached 700 degrees, gurgling and bubbling as the beam of light gradually shone towards the Golden Gate Bridge. The pillars of the bridge were instantly melted off by the heat, and the cars moving on the bridge. The cars on the bridge were turned into water in less than 30 seconds, and then the bridge. The meters of steel plates clicked, and it snapped off at the waist where the beam of light went. It was devastating, and all because the Earth's core suddenly stopped spinning, causing the magnetic field above the Earth gradually disappearing. Once the Earth loses this natural protective shield, microwave radiation would instantly scorch the Earth to a crisp, and then there will be no survivors on the planet. The officer said, "What do we do then?" Just wait for death? The man said that theoretically, if we use this, a sufficient number of nuclear bombs and detonate it at the center of the earth, it would reactivate the core of the earth. This one questioned. The core of the earth is 6,000 degrees hot. Before anyone gets there, it'll turn into water. But John had an idea. A heat-resistant material. A tungsten titanium alloy. This material is not only able to withstand temperatures of 6,000 degrees, it can also absorb heat from its surroundings, converting it into kinetic energy. He then placed the mouse in a box made of this material. Then he turns on the laser pulse cannon. The laser cannon instantly threw the steel plate at the back of the box, and the mouse inside is still alive and well. When the top brass saw this, and immediately allocated 500 billion to Roy to use this material to build a giant drilling ship.